Hi, this is Venkatesh. Today I am going to cook chicken tikka masala. Let us look at the ingredients for chicken tikka masala. I have taken 2 kg of boneless chicken thigh piece, 2 cup of curd nicely whisked, 3 fourth cup of fresh cream, 4 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, 50% ginger, 50% garlic, 1 and a half tablespoon of Bengal gram flour which is roasted, 3 fourth cup of ghee or clarified butter, 4 small size bay leaves, 3 tablespoon of coriander powder, 3 tablespoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon of fennel seed, 10 to 12 black pepper, 2 teaspoon of cumin seed, 2 teaspoon of garam masala powder, 3 medium sized green chilli, finely chopped, 1 and a half inch of cinnamon stick, 1 and a half teaspoon of cumin powder, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 2 black cardamom, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 and a half teaspoon of dried fenugreek leaves powder, about 10 small cardamom, green cardamom, salt to taste, half teaspoon of asafoetida powder, 10 medium size onions which is grounded into paste and 10 medium size tomato again grounded into a paste. I have also taken 3 fourth cup of hung curd and 1 cup of fresh coriander leaves. This is finely chopped. Let us start cooking chicken tikka masala. So let us first marinate our chicken. Take a large mixing bowl like this and just transfer all the chicken in the mixing bowl. Add all the dry powders first. This is roasted Bengal gram flour. Half the quantity of Kashmiri red chilli powder. This gives a very nice color. Half the quantity of coriander seed powder. And half green chilli, half the quantity of green chilli. Half the quantity of fenugreek, dried fenugreek leaf powder. Zira powder again, half the quantity. Turmeric powder, again half the quantity. Zira powder, zira is cumin, cumin seed powder. This is garam masala powder. Again half the quantity. Hung cut. All of them. Ginger garlic paste. Again half the quantity of ginger garlic paste. And just salt. Salt to taste. I am taking just one and a half teaspoon of salt here. Now we will have to mix it properly, nicely using your hand. So rub all the ingredients properly on the chicken. So you will have to use your hand, there is no other choice, no other option. So keep mixing it, keep rubbing it so that the marinade coats nicely properly on the chicken so the chicken is nicely coated with our marinade so i'm going to leave this in the fridge for at least two hours so while our chicken is marinating in the fridge we will fry our masalas so i've taken a deep kadai like this and add all the ghee to it Let the ghee heat up, melt properly. Then we'll add rest of the ingredients. 
So our clarified butter ghee is nice and hot now. I'm going to add all the whole spices. Cinnamon stick, black pepper, black cardamom, green cardamom, a small one, the bay leaves. Just allow it to crackle and then we'll add our cumin seeds. Time to add the cumin seeds now. And at this moment, this time add the asafoetida powder. Okay, now our spices are cracked. Crack time to add the onion. So we need to fry this onion until it is brown on high flame. I have been frying this onion for almost 12 to 15 minutes on high flame. Now it has turned brown. So this is the right time to add the green chilies and the remaining ginger garlic paste. Give it a stir, mix it well and add some water so that the ginger garlic paste and the onion doesn't burn and the kadai is deglazed we will fry it until the raw smell of ginger and garlic is gone I am doing all, all this frying on a high flame Ginger, garlic and onion has fried nicely as you can see the clarified butter coming up to the surface. This is the right time to add the tomato puree. And again, give it a nice mix, stir it continuously until the tomato has cooked. Completely. Keep mixing it and fry the tomato on high flame. I've been frying this tomato for 15 to 18 minutes on high flame and continuously stirring it. So as you can see all the moisture from tomato has dried up and you can see the oil has the ghee or clarified butter has come up to the surface. We are going to add all the dry spices now. The remaining coriander powder. Remaining Kashmiri red chili powder, remaining turmeric powder, and 
रिमेनिंग गरम मसाला पाउडर रिमेनिंग जीरा पाउडर फेनिल सीड्स शुगर दिस शुगर हेल्प्स टू बैलेंस द एसिडिटी फ्रॉम टोमैटो एज वेल एज द कर्ड तो इन गोज द शुगर सॉल्ट टू टेस्ट एंड जस्ट वन फोर्थ ऑफ द फ्रेश कोरियंडर लीव्स वन फोर्थ That's it, and give it a nice stir. Okay. So the masala has fried properly. Now this is the right time to add curd. So I've been frying the curd for almost ten minutes on high flame. See the moisture has all dried up nicely, and the curd has fried nicely. So now I'm going to our chicken tikka masala base gravy base is ready. So I'm going to switch off the gas, switch off the flame, and keep it aside. I'm going to remove our marinated chicken from the fridge and. Roast it on a pan, and then add the chicken to this base gravy base. So I've removed the marinated chicken from fridge. I've taken a flat non-stick pan, and I'm going to add just two teaspoon of oil. And roast the chicken from both the sides. on high flame I have started to heat up the gravy masala. 
It's time to add our chicken to the masalas. This roasted gravy. Give it a nice mix on high flame. And add, initially add just one to one and a half cup of water. Then later on, just look at the consistency. This consistency should be very thick. This chicken has been cooking for almost 8 to 10 minutes on low to medium flame. Let us check whether the chicken is done or not. It looks nice. Yeah, this looks very nice and chicken is done, looks like. Yeah, chicken is done. So this is the right time to add fresh cream. I'll just leave it a little bit for garnishing. Dried fenugreek leaves and all of them and coriander fresh coriander leaves and just leave it a little bit for garnishing give it a nice mix again Let it cook for another 5 to 8 minutes on low to medium flame. I've been cooking this for 5 to 7 minutes on low flame. Let us check. Oh wow, this is done. Beautiful. Let us check. Amazing, this is perfectly done. Time to time to serve it. Let me serve this. Garnish it with some fresh coriander. 
and fresh cream. Delicious, yummy and rich chicken tikka masala is ready to be served. Serve hot with roti, chapati, naan or paratha. For more such recipes, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my blog www.daddyscuisine.com Enjoy chicken tikka masala. Happy eating!